Hello and welcome to the Shooting Star Learning Center. For today's video, I'm going to be talking about the order of operation. The order of operation is a rule that tells the correct sequence of steps for evaluating a math expression. We can remember the order of operation by this acronym PEMDAS. P E M D a S PEMDA which stands for parenthesis P stands for parenthesis P A R O E N T H E S E S E stands for exponent P O N E N T E stands for exponent M stands for multiplication M U L T I P L I C E T I O N. D stands for division. A stands for addition. A D D I T I O N. And S stands for subtraction. P E M D A S PEMDAS, which stands for parenthesis, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. The order of the operation says that you should solve all problems within the parenthesis, and then you search for exponent. Every exponent should be solved next, and then multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So in this case, how do we solve the problem? We have 6 times 2 plus 4 plus 4 times 7 minus 2 in parenthesis, parenthesis close, and divide by 4 times 2. So as we go by the rules, it say parenthesis first. So whatever the end parenthesis we want to solve is first. So we have 6 times 2 plus parenthesis which is 4 plus 4 times 2. we solve this parenthesis for which is 7 minus 2 7 minus 2 will give a 5 7 e minus 2, we give a 5. And then it closes. So we have division here. It's divided by 4 times 2. So what's the next step? The next step is to complete the parenthesis. We still have parenthesis here. Since our rule say parenthesis come first, we want to make sure we complete the parenthesis. We have um first you want to do this in order. Say four plus um <coughs> four. No, we can we can plus four plus four because our rule say multiplication come before addiction. So you want to tackle the multiplication, which is this. The multiplication is this, which is 4 times 5. 4 times 5, which will give you 20. 4 times 5 plus 4. And it's still in the parenthesis. It is still in the parenthesis. You bring our problem down here, 4 times 2. We stay in the parenthesis. We want to get rid of this parenthesis first. So we have 4 plus 20, which is 24. Now we have solved the parenthesis, 24 divided by 4 times 2. 
and then we have our problem here 6 times 2 plus 6 times 2 plus 24 divided by 4 times 2 so what's the next step here we have P, which is parenthesis, we complete a parenthesis. We have no exponent here, so we can solve the exponent. And then we have multiplication. Multiplication, yes, multiplication. And then, yeah, basically multiplication. So by the, by the way, multiplication and division work in, in line. Multiplication and division, they, are, they work in a line. Which means that... <clears throat> When you see problem like this, you want to divide first before attempting the modification. You want to divide first before attempting the modification. So in this case, we have 24 divided by 4, which is 6. Which is 6. First, we want to bring our problem down here. 6 times 2 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 times 2. Now we have we have multiplication. We have multiplication. So multiplication and division come before addition and subtraction. We have addition here, so we want to multiply first before we can add. So 6, six times 2, which will give a uh, 12, 12 plus 6 times 2, which is 12, 12 plus 12. 12 plus 12 with, will give us 24. So 24 is our answer. So first you want to solve whatever that in parenthesis first. Um, and then go to exponent. In this case, we have no exponent here. So we can solve an exponent. And then <clears throat> multiplication and division, they go in a line. We have our... Um, division and modification so in this case we solve a division before attempting a modification problem and addition and subtraction can last so let's do a, mo a, a most complicated problem so let's do a more complicated problem uh, we have 45 divided by 3 square times 1 plus 20 minus 10 so our problem we have um, we have the acronym PEMDAS, which stands for parenthesis, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So we want to go by these rules. Parenthesis, whatever the in parenthesis you want to solve it first. We have three square times one. Whatever the in parenthesis you want to solve it first. We have three squared exponent. We have exponent three square, which is our exponent. Three square will give us nine. Three square is three times three, which would be equal to nine times one. And then 9 times 1 would just be equal to 9. We have 45 here. 45 divided by 9 plus 20 minus 10. So we have done with, with the parenthesis and the exponent. Now, now we want to do the multiplication by the way multiplication and division go in a line 
you start from left to right and addition and subtraction going in line start from left to right so we have um we look at things we have division we have division in this case we have division and we say division come before addition and subtraction so we gotta divide before attempting those problems we have division 45 45 divided by 9 45 divided by 9 we give us we give us 5 5 we give us 5 so this 5 will represent this Let me just do the crazy quick erase. So I already have in mind that our answer here is five. Five plus twenty minus ten. So by the way, addition and subtraction you want to do it in a line. So in this case, five plus twenty. We give you 25, 25 minus 10. 25 minus 10, the answer will be 15. So 15 is our answer in this case. So thank you for watching. Feel free to replay the video. Please subscribe to our channel if you have not. And also, like our video share our video if you share our video you're also helping people understand this problem and also subscribe to our channel if you have not and thank you i'll see you in the next video